Greg also asks, are there concrete plans for a Triumph sequel yet? Yes, Triumph was my Angry Robot book from 2009, 10, 9, 10. Uh, original, original novel, fantasy, slightly silly in places, uh, fantasy adventure, magic, fun and games, lots of puns. Uh, I des desperately want to write the sequel to that and that will be coming. Uh, I know what the story is, I know where it's going um, and I think Andrew Robot are going to make an announcement about what I do next for them quite soon. Uh, Aaron Dembski Bowden. I have no, I've, it's a very unusual name, I've never heard of him. When will I make Triumph into a movie, he asks. They should you know it'd be killer. Yes, they should. I don't know. I'd like it if they did. It would be killer. And I promise that if they do, you and I can go on set and giggle. There you go. Uh, Tom Hallam asks, can you reveal anything about your third book for Angry Robot? Not yet, but very soon. And will you maintain it, an outlet for your own concepts? Absolutely, yes. It's very nice. I mean, I, 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 d I don't draw a, um, a, a, a really a distinction between writing uh, tie-in franchise fiction and writing original fiction. As far as I'm concerned, each book is a book that I take seriously and I try and do the best job I possibly can. And I'm incredibly attached to things like Gaunt's Ghosts, where the characters are, are uh, I've been writing them for a long time. So to me, it's just what the next book is. But, but writing for Angry Robot Triumph and Embedded so far and another one for next year, the, the, the pleasure there, I suppose, is, is, is full creativity. Uh, inventing your own universe, doing an idea that you can't otherwise fit in. Um, embedded it was a great. Oh, it, actually, Triumph was tri Triumph was not was, was really really was a sort of summer holidays book, and it was an opportunity to blow off steam and do all the things that I couldn't do in other books. And Embedded was an idea which 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 almost could have worked as an Imperial Guard book. It could have worked in uh, in in forty k circumstances, except for a couple of really crucial ways that it couldn't have done, particularly the interrelation with the sort of modern media. So it had to go somewhere else. So it had to be that. Um, so yes, uh, sort of writing writing a uh, a piece of original fiction every year or so is uh, is something I hope to to keep doing, and I have got several really good ideas that I'm looking forward to an opportunity to doing. Uh, Tom says, uh, "Gosh," he said, "that turned out to be a professional sounding question," which it did. He says, "Yeah, I also." Uh, Johnny Munn asks uh, has a few questions. In fact, are we going to see a follow up to Embedded? I'd love to write a sequel to Embedded. Embedded the Angry Robot novel I published earlier this year, military science fiction. If you like my uh, 40k stuff, you'll probably like that too. Um, uh, and it's not a book that would lend itself to a sequel, but it's a book that would lend itself to have another book or books written in the same universe, having gone to the trouble of, of, uh, of constructing it. Robert Getz asks, can I ask about the upcoming Doctor Who novel, The Ice Warriors? Yes, you can, Robert. It's not... If you're referring to what I think you're referring to, it's not called The Ice Warriors, it's called... Da -da 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 -da. Silent Stars Go By. It's got Ice Warriors in it, as you can see from the cover. Uh, this is out now, this is this and Salvation's Reach are the two books of mine that are out right now. This is my first copy, it's just arrived in the post yesterday. Uh, it is the Christmas Doctor Who novel. Uh, I've written quite a bit, few bits and pieces of Doctor Who uh, over the last goodness only knows how many years. Novels, audios, comic strips. Um, enjoyed it very much. I love Doctor Who. Um, before you ask John Pertwee, there you go. Uh, and uh, I was asked originally to write one of the first novels to tie into Matt Smith's reign as Doctor Who, and I wasn't able to do it because I was I was fully booked. Uh, last year they published a, alongside the regular books that they publish every year, which they've been doing for a long time now. They also published a special hardback at Christmas. Uh, sort of Christmas special that Michael Moorcock of all people wrote. So this year they came back to me and said, we want to do that again and will you write the next one? And I, uh, that's the kind of compliment and honour that you just can't say no to. So I, I, I agreed and this is the result. Um, it, is, it, is, it is the 11th Doctor plus Amy plus Rory. It's Ice Warriors appearing for the first time in modern continuity, uh, television continuity I mean, they've obviously appeared in novels, but uh, uh, Ice Warriors is one of my favourite monsters. Uh, I've tried to really try and do justice to Ice Warriors because on the one hand they're brilliant because they were immensely menacing back in the 60s when there were Patrick Tratton stories and everything like that. Immensely menacing yet still were very very big men in rubber suits and lumbered around. 
Uh, they're meant to be this extraordinary sort of warrior race who are capable of, of conquering whole planets. So I've tried to write them in this book in a way that is both. They are huge lumbering beasts that are absolutely what you recognise from the television, I hope, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a flush of nostalgia. Yet they also are quite terrifying sort of superhuman warriors. Uh, I'm very pleased with this book. It's, it's immensely Christmassy. I hope people will read it at Christmas and go, oh, it's all Christmassy. Yet it has got nothing to do with Christmas, which is a neat trick if you can do it. Um, but there it is. It's probably worth pointing out that uh, you can uh, friend me on Facebook if you wanted to at Dan Abnett Primary Clone. Uh, it, that is actually my second page because I do. You will easily find a page called Dan. Abnett. In fact, you'll find lots of pages on there. But there is there is clearly one that's Dan Abnett that's me, um, and it's full. It's absolutely full. You can try friending me there, but you're, you're probably not going to get because the the, the uh, a space. The, the, every now and then a space does open up, and it tends to get filled sort of automatically because there are people who who ask to friend me who who I can't message to tell me to go somewhere else. But anyway, the point is if you want to friend me on Facebook, go to Dan Abbott Primary Clone, which is which is a duplicate. I didn't want to open a fan page because I think that's a very strange thing to do and I, and, and I like the fact that there is a direct point of contact. So opening a second page is nice. Uh, everything I post on one page I post on the other. Come along, talk, join the fun, it'd be great fun. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, at Dan Abbott Club, that's all one word, Dan Abbott Club. Uh, or for a more casual approach, you can follow me and Nick on Twitter at Vincent Abnett, all one word. And my blog is at danabnett.com, which I'm sure many of you who've asked me questions already know. Uh, and in fact, if you're looking at this on my blog, you already knew it before anyway. Um, thank you for all the questions, I look forward to, uh, to talking to you again.